Hey guys, so today I have this kind of dramatic New Year's look. It does have some glitter on the lid and this is a collaboration once again with my good friend Amy from Dominoes and Hearts. This is her look, so definitely check out her video, I'll leave it in the down bar below. The first product I'm going to use to start this look is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm applying this all over my lid with a synthetic fluffy brush and this is just going to give us a nice base to work with. I am applying it all the way up to my eyelid as well so that it does kind of cover the redness and veins and stuff. I'm then going to take my Urban Decay Naked palette and I'm going to use the shade Naked as a transition colour. I'm going to apply this with a fluffy brush to kind of the top of my crease. I'm sorry this is a little bit out of focus, I didn't realise till editing. So then I'm using my Naked palette still and I'm going to take the colour Buck. This is once again a matte but it's just a little bit darker. And I'm going to place this a tiny bit lower than where we placed Naked but still in the upper crease. And I'm just doing the same to both eyes. I'm then going to take the colour Smog and I'm going to use a kind of pencil brush to give this a bit more defined. And I'm going to place this in the lower crease. This is going to deepen up our look and create more of a smoky eye. Last but not least, I'm going to take Hustle, this kind of really nice kind of purpley colour, and I'm going to apply this in the outer V, and I am going to blend it kind of into the crease, but I'm mainly focusing it and applying it on the outer V, because that's where I want it to be the darkest. And I'm still using my pencil brush, and then I'm just going in with a blending brush to blend, blend all of those colours together. Then I'm taking this Sports Girl Stars In Your Eyes Glitter Liner. This, it doesn't really ma what, matter what colour you use. I'm just using this as a base all over my eyelid. And I'm then going to pat on my NYX Roll On Shimmer. So I'm just rolling it onto my finger. And I'm then going to pat it over my eyelid. This is in the colour Nude. And this is going to adhere to the glitter eyeliner that we just applied so that it stays all night long and looks amazingly perfect. It was really nice and glittery and sparkly in real life. I feel like it doesn't translate very well on camera though. And I am just blending out those edges with the blending brush once again and I'm doing the same thing to the other eye of course because we want both eyes to match. And then taking my Smart Skin Face Wipes and I'm just removing any fallout from under my eyes. There was some from that roll-on shimmer. And then taking my pre-foundation moisturizing primer. This is by Designer Brands and I really love this for when my skin is feeling a little bit dry. So I'm just dotting it all over my face and then blending it in with my fingers. Then I'm mixing two foundations today. I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in the color 3.0 and my Astralis Paparazzi Perfect Foundation in the color Fair. And I'm just blending these together to create my perfect shade because it is summer at the moment so I'm kind of tan but I'm not as tan as the 3.0 in the Urban Decay. And I'm applying this with a round top Kabuki brush and I'm just blending it all over my face for a really flawless coverage. You do want to make sure that you blend it in really well so it does look flawless because we do have a dramatic eye going on. Then I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and Highlighter. I'm using the concealer side and I'm placing this under my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead and also a little bit on my chin. And I'm going back in with that same foundation brush and I'm just blending it out so that it's all nice and perfectly seamless. And then going in with the yellow colour from my Astralis Ontour Contour Kit, that rhymes, and I'm using this to set my under eye concealer. I'm just using it on a small tapered brush. Then going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent, and I'm just setting my foundation with a Kabuki brush and just applying a really light dusting. Then going back to my Urban Decay Naked palette, I'm going to go in with Naked again and I'm just applying this to the lower lash line with that fluffy blending brush. Then I'm going to go in with Smog and I'm going to apply this with the pencil brush all the way along that lash line where we just applied Naked. And then last but not least, I'm going to go in with Hustle and just focus this kind of on the outer edge and slowly blending it inwards. This is going to give us a nice smoky look, but I wanted to wait till after I'd done my foundation. 
But then going in with our Maybelline Definer Brow in Dark Blonde, I'm just carving out my eyebrows with this pencil. I do really like this pencil. Um, it's got a really nice consistency and it fills in my eyebrows very well. However, I found that after I filled them in, they were kind of a little bit really kind of ashy and dark for my hair. My hair does have a lot of worn tones in it at the moment. So I then went in with my Models Prefer HD Brow Kit in light to medium and I used the powder because it is a little bit more of kind of like an orange warm tone and I just applied this over the top. It is going to set that pencil and it's also going to provide a little bit more warmth in my brows so that they look a little bit more natural. And then going in my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in black and I'm applying this to my waterline and my tight line. This is kind of gross and I'm sorry if I creep you out while you watch me apply this to my eyeball but I get really kind of jittery with my eyes when I'm applying it. Now I lost this footage but I applied my Astralis Bronzing Powder in Golden just to bronze the outskirts of my face, my BYS Blush in Candy Floss on the apples of my cheeks and my Essence Vampire Love Shimmer Powder on the high points as a highlight. I then used the Face of Australia Impact Curl Mascara and also the Rimmel Scandalize Mascara just to get a really bold look to my lashes. I didn't apply any false lashes, but you can if you want. I then used my Astralis Velour Lips in Paris and I applied this to create a nude lip. But I do have two other lip options for you. So there is this NYX lipstick in Femme Femme. This creates more of a pinky bright colour if you're into bright lips. And last of all, the Revlon lipstick in Blushing Chrome. This creates more of a dramatic dark lip. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Check out Amy's and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.